When it comes to right triangles, all that's required to find an unknown side is one side and one given angle. However, there are a couple specific triangles based on the angles that are in the triangle that give us certain relationships that are based on these trig functions. The following are a couple shortcuts for making solving of unknown sides a little easier without using trigonometry or directly using our trig functions at least. The first triangle that we'll look at is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. The triangles are named by the angles that they're made up of. So a 30, 60, 90 triangle is a special right triangle. It's created with a 60 degree and 30 degree angle. So one of the angles has to be 90, one is 30, one is 60. Sides are proportional to angles. The largest side on a right triangle is always directly across from the 90 degree angle. We call this the hypotenuse. The smallest angle in this case is 30 degrees. The smallest or second smallest or middle angle is 60 degrees, which means the side directly across from 30 degrees is the smallest size. The side that's in the middle size-wise is directly across from the 60 degrees because 60 degrees is the middle of the three angles. There are a couple relationships we can observe. The hypotenuse represents 2x. The short leg, which is directly across from the 30 degree angle, represents x. And the long leg, which is directly across from the 60 degree angle, represents square root of 3 times x. These relationships will help us solve the unknown information by comparing this relationship to one of the known sides. Let's look at an example of a problem. We're given a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Now, I could have just been given a right triangle where one of the angles is 60, one of the angles is 30, and I still could have assumed that it's a 30, 60, 90, since the other two angles, other than the right angle, have to add up to 90 degrees. In this case, I start by writing the relationships on the appropriate sides of the triangle. This is where a little memorization comes into play. The hypotenuse is 2x. The short leg is just x. The longest leg is square root 3 times x. Now, it's not square root of 3x. The radical stops before it gets to the x. Any sides that have a relationship and a given side can be set equal in an equation. So in this case, only one of my sides of my triangle has a given value and a relationship. In this case, that's the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is measured at 30, and that relationship for the hypotenuse of a 30, 60, 90 triangle is 2x. So I'm going to set those two equal to one another. That creates a nice, easy one-step equation. I'm going to solve this equation. What's happening to my variable? I'm multiplying by 2. To undo that, I need to divide both sides by 2. x equals 15. With some problems, that's all they ask for, is what does x equal? In others, they may ask you to find one or two of the sides. In this case, I just substitute the solution into the other relationships. We already know the hypotenuse is 30, which makes sense because 2x, or 2 times 15, is 30. I can also do x equals 15. It's just a simple plug-in. Square root of 3 times x. I would write this as 15 times square root of 3. Depending on the purpose of this measurement, you could also turn that directly into a decimal answer. Another special type of right triangle is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. This triangle is also a right isosceles triangle. This is a special right triangle with two 45 degree angles, one 90 degree angle. The sides are proportional to the angles. Since the angles are congruent, automatically the sides are congruent. 
This makes sense since we've discussed that a 45-45-90 triangle is also a right isosceles. Isosceles triangles have two angles that are congruent and two opposite sides that are also congruent. In this case, there are some important relationships. The hypotenuse, which is directly across from, from the right angle, is square root of 2 times x. The legs are each x. This makes sense because we have two 45 degree angles, so their opposite sides should be equal. So that's how we get x for the two legs, the two sides that are not the hypotenuse. And our hypotenuse is represented by square root of 2x. These are the relationships for these specific triangles. The same policy is going to be in, put into account here if I know one of my sides is 30. Now here I only know one of my angles is 45. The other automatically has to be 45. I start by writing out the relationships on the appropriate sides of the triangle. So I have square root 2x, x, and x. The 2x's are always directly across from the 45 degrees. The square root 2x is always straight across from the 90 degree angle on the hypotenuse. Any sides that have a relationship and a given side can be set equal in an equation. 30 is a given side square root of 2x is a relationship. So I can set them equal to one another, and now I can solve this equation. So I'm going to divide both sides by square root of 2, which is a decimal is going to give me 21.2. If your geometry teacher is looking for exact answers, or an answer that requires a radical, this would require being able to rationalize a denominator that would be an entirely different lesson. For now, we're going to assume that we're using this for real-world measurement, such as building something. So a decimal answer is going to be much more realistic and useful. Some problems simply ask you to solve for x. If that was the case, we'd be done. If not, they may ask you to plug in that value to solve for the other sides. We already know what x is, and we already were given the hypotenuse, we just have to find those two legs. They each represent x, so I don't need to do anything, I just need to plug in my x. So that's 21.2, and that's 21.2. On your own, try these two problems. Try to solve for the missing sides. Triangle 1 is a 30-60-90 triangle. Triangle 2 is a 45-45-90 triangle. You could solve either of these problems using trigonometry if you'd like. However, since these are special right triangles, you can use your special right triangle relationships. Set any relationship equal to a given side, solve for x, and then use that x value to substitute into the other relationships.